This is my contemporary world problems PowerPoint. Hopefully you can hear me okay. Let's start by discussing scarcity and opportunity cost. Scarcity is a concept in which the consumer must balance their limited resources, which are described as time, money, and, want, and skill, with their unlimited wants. We don't have infinite money, so we can't buy everything we want. And that's where opportunity cost comes in. It's basically the consumer making a choice between one product or another based on their resources. An example would be, do I get a new TV or do, do I get a new iPod? You have to choose because you don't have enough money for both. But opportunity cost is different for each person or nation. Maybe they do have enough money for both. Let's discuss an oligopoly. An oligopoly is a market structure where only a few companies are in the industry. An example would be six major film studios control 90% of the American market in the film industry. Or that AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, and Sprint control 89% of the cell phone market. This leads to a higher consumer cost than the normal market would have because there's not a lot of competition. This is taken to another extreme in a monopoly. A monopoly is where one company controls the entire market. It is considered restrictive and extremely shady. No competition means the company can set the highest price they want on that product and people would still have to buy it if they really need it or want it that much. An example would be Comcast, which has a monopoly on the cities of Boston, Philadelphia, and Chicago meaning they're the only cable provider in those cities. If competitors go out of business and a, and a monopoly is accidentally created, it is considered acceptable until an abuse of power. On the other hand, it is illegal to intentionally create or purchase a monopoly. Finally, let's talk about perfect competition. Since there's no real definitive real-life examples for perfect competition. It's kind of hard to explain, but I'll do my best. Perfect competition is where all of the companies in the industry have a small market share, share the exact same product, sell the exact same product, like exact same, name, blueprints, and everything. Every firm is free to enter and exit the market Consumers know everything about the product, and the firms do not control the price of that product. It's set by an outside entity. This has never happened in real life, as far as I know. It's only theoretical. But a hypothetical example would be if all the members of the class went into business for themselves, sold the exact same product, told the buyer everything about the product, and you, Mr. Awarda, set the price. That is the end of my PowerPoint.